All right, folks. So PW Insider reports. And um, PW Insider is uh, kind of become one of my new enemies. Got into it with Mike Johnson um, on Twitter several weeks ago about a article about Impact that he wrote. Unnecessarily negative. Where it was basically saying that they should just focus on their own fans because there's no way they're going to get new ones. And it was really unnecessary. And, and I've put over Mike Johnson and PW Insider quite a bit on here saying that's probably the most pre- credible source that you can get wrestling news from. But that I had a big issue with. And we went, we went at it on Twitter a little bit. And then he, uh, he posted something from my Eli Drake. And it wasn't my interview for the channel's Eli Drake interview that Adam did with him regarding his contract and every other dirt sheet credited the impact lounge except him. So got, got some issues, but I will stand by the fact that PW insider is probably, probably a pretty good, uh, pretty good source. So PW insider reports that management has sat down with Alberto El Patron and Eli Drake about new deals and it's believed that both comp- both uh, wrestlers will be staying with the company. I know Alberto El Patron, the, the rumors have been a little bit stronger. And you can say what you want about him. But prior to the whole incident with Paige, he was doing tremendous work. And I'm, I'm for anybody who can get a crowd reaction. And I've said this before. I know I repeat myself a lot, but I have a lot of new listeners from time to time. So there's going to be, uh, well, I mean, I have new listeners every time time I upload something. So sometimes I'm going to, I'm going to repeat myself, but one thing I've always said about Alberto El Patron with all his time in WWE, he knows how to work a crowd. He's had to work large crowds. So when you get put in that smaller setting with the impact crowd, you know how to work them. You know how to get a reaction out of them as opposed maybe to someone who's really only worked for impact or done, um, indies, you know what I mean? It's, it's a different, um, different struggle for them. And some are good at it, some are not. But I think Alberto El Patron has has really done fine work. I think right now I don't really get what he's about. And I think they've lost lost direction. But it was kind of a good thing too because he was getting that monster push that I don't think people really wanted, even though I think he was doing a good job with it. But I'm, I'm glad to see him stick around and I think him and Eli Drake are essential to bring back because those are the top heels right now. Eli Drake, that goes without saying that they've got to bring this guy back. If you heard him on the impact lounge, he said at the end, his contract was up May 3rd, May 31st. And he was willing to listen to anybody who would make a competitive offer. Some people were saying, Oh, well, you know, Oh, great. Now he wants to go next. Nah, that's not really what it is, but you, you posture sometimes. If you watch sports, if you watch, NFL or NBA and they're asked about, you know, contracts and everything. There's a lot of times where a player will posture himself. LeBron James is someone who postures himself quite a bit so that he can have as much um, control over his destiny when, when contract time rolls around. So that's kind of how I took it with Eli Drake. Even though he, as he said, he's a businessman first, I'm sure he will listen to other offers, but he did say that he was loyal to impact. And he said in the past that he'd rather, you know, kind of be a big fish in a small pond and and know where his place is rather than get lost in the sauce in a bigger company. And that's, you know, similar to something Abyss said when they offered him an opportunity to wrestle Undertaker at WrestleMania some odd years ago. And he said, I I don't know what my position would have been in that company. He knew he was going to lose that night. Um, So what was his position going to be going forward where with TNA, he knew where he stood. And I think Eli Drake feels that way and got to bring them back. Got to, got to, got to Eli Drake and Rosemary are the two people in this company that a lot of fans will not forgive them for if they let them slip away. So pay Eli Drake, whatever he wants, uh, make Alberto El Patron a competitive offer and let's bring these guys back. Cause they're going to be the two top heels going forward. And who, we'll see, we're going to see who steps up. And uh, maybe I'm forgetting someone off my head, but I, I can't think right now of someone who can step into that heel role. Hopefully someone steps up, but these are the two who are going to hold it down for a while. So good on them. Let's get these guys signed. The other the other thing 
that PW Insider reported is that they're making Matt Seidel a priority in re-signing him. If you said this a month or so ago, I'd be like, yeah, okay, cool, Matt Seidel. But now, and I guess we're going to see more with Crossroads, but now with the with the you know kind of heel turn coming and the spiritual advisor thing and blah, 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 now I'm really interested in him going forward. And what hurts the company is when someone leaves who's in the middle of something really good and real creative. So like the Hardys or like Laurel Van Ness, like it's, it's kind of hard to bounce back from that in the short term. But then if you have a guy like Drew Galloway, who was, well, he was actually doing some really good heel work at the time, but you know, a guy who's, who's been a, a vanilla character more or less, um, even EC3, which EC3 is tremendous, but what was he doing at the time? You know what I mean? So it's almost like his departure really won't be felt because he wasn't doing anything major on TV. So uh, Matt Seidel, um, hopefully they do get him locked down. I think he's uh, essential going forward. And maybe he'll be that heel that steps into that third role. You never know. Um, Matt Seidel title run could be really, really interesting. Thanks for listening, folks. Hit the subscribe button if you're a first-timer. Here at the Impact Lounge, I am BQ. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.